Hey guys, Demise here. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted something because I've been pretty busy in real life. But I wanted to make you guys this video since I'm going to be pulling all my Immortal Soul Stones and my Immortal Soul Stones just to finish the event. And this is actually the best time to be pulling as well since you can get the most value for your Soul Stones and possibly get some nice 6 star ones to upgrade your account. The Prism Shard Pool right now is actually pretty decent as well. I'm hoping to get the Dwarf for the Mikage Fusion and maybe Royal Garden Phoenix. I've also been saving all of my Void Shards because I do hope to get a Void Legendary soon enough. My account at the moment still has absolutely none which is why I'm very hesitant to pull any Voids outside the 2x. So I'm going to show you guys right now my account literally has zero Void Legendary Champions. I've been focusing on the Great Hall a lot. I have a 100% win rate. I've been saving up all my gold medals. I'm hoping to get another 2 of these 10 out of 10 so that I can actually progress on the missions here. I haven't done any of them yet since I'm stuck here on the Upgrade the Affinity bonuses. Aside from that, I've been doing Faction Wars now. So I've gained maybe nearly 100 stars for the past week. I've just been working on them. My Dark Elves is nearly done as well. The funny thing is people say Dwarf is the hardest, but Dwarf is actually the first faction wars that I've completed. And then I did High Elves, then Barbarians. If you guys do need a Dwarves team, the team I used is actually here. I can't show you guys since the Crypt is closed right now. But for the dwarves, I don't, I didn't have a nut that time, so I used Molly, Geo, and Demitha. The other two don't really matter. I used Melga. Melga was a four star at that time. Then I had Runekeeper as well. All those two were there for was just to tank. My Melga was literally just shielding, taking the smack from the boss. This guy boosted third meter, but it was really the Geo and Molly that was carrying, and then we had Demisa's block damage and healing. So that's how I completed the faction wars. And without anything else to do, we are going to be pulling all my immortal soul stones and my immortal soul stones. And the first hand pull, let's hope we get something good so that I can actually get the prism and make progress on my account. Um, so far we're getting a bunch of 1 stars, that's really really bad. Oh, Lego 1 star? Yep, it's just 2 stars, pretty garbage. So in this 10 pull, I got absolutely nothing, those two are horrible. Let's do 2 singles, since I need to get it done anyway. And the first single gives me a Thergist. Man, this 2x doesn't feel like it's on at the moment. And not even in any of my wish lists. There's a five star for a garbage champion. Nice lead on raid. Then ten pull. We're out of space. Some more space. Let's go ahead and do another ten pull. So we actually get something good. One stars across the board again. And we do get a not just a one star though. So it's not good. And we get another useless one star. More one stars. So we are going to be doing the final 10 pull. Let's hope we actually get something good so that we can get an upgrade for the account. And so far we're getting a bunch of 1 stars again and... It's a 6 star Cupidos! Let's go! This is actually insane for my account. A huge, huge upgrade seriously and a 1 star physics who cares. But this Cupidus is going to be insane for my damage dealer. And for the tournament, we already have the prisms. I'm probably going to be opening the Immortals as well so that I can get the Legendary Book. Although I don't feel like I need to open all of them anymore since the other rewards are not that much worth it. So let's go ahead and start with the first Immortal Soulstone right here. Let's hope we get something good for the account. And it's actually a Mythical. Will it be useful? And it's a Mikage. Oh my goodness, bro. Straight after the Cupidus, we get a 6-star Mikage. So I don't have Mikage yet, but this will be massive for when I actually do get her. That's probably going to be the end of my summoning session because of that Mikage actually got all of the rewards. And I have 8 Immortal Soul Stones left. I'm going to be saving them for the next Soul Chase tournament or maybe another Deck of Fate or whatever. But right now I'm already happy and I'm done with this since I already got all the rewards. And I'd say this was actually a pretty successful summoning session. I can't believe that I got a Mikage and a Cupidus 6 stars. I'm going to be working on the Sand Devil turn attack right now. 
so that we can get another prism shard and I'll be pulling both of those this video as well. So after a few minutes, I did complete the Sand Devil turn attack. Currently in rank number 3, I don't really care if I place anything there. It's not that worth it to spend more energy for one Ancient Shard. And right now, I'm hoping to get either Fire Gun for Mikage, Royal Guard, or Phoenix. I already have Lady Cullen, so she's not that crucial for my account anymore. I already have a lot and a lot of Geomancers. I already have two deities as well. And for the other copies, I don't need them anymore. None of these epics would help. All of the legendary champions will be really nice for my account. So we are going to be pulling the first prism shard. Let's hope we get something nice. It's a dwarf looking at that. And we do get the Mikage piece. So this is going to be really, really nice for my account. This champion is purely for Mikage only. Not going to be building her out because she's not that useful, to be honest. Unless you have a dupe, then you can probably have a fun bombing champion. Let's go for the second one and the second one is it's another dwarf and of course it's a geomancer so right now i can actually get a plus three geomancer but i can't go further than a plus two because i don't want to adjust geo speed again since he is speed tuned for my clan boss team i don't want to be giving him extra speed by empowering him but look at mikage i still need six epics i'm already done with the lockwain and Wergren. And then if we come to the Fraction Guardians, we actually have way too much Geomancers. You can see my Geo's plus one. Then I have another dupe and I just picked up another one. I could probably get a plus four Geomancer before I even get a single Void Legendary. And you can see there, once I put it in, there is a plus five speed, which is why I don't want to use it because I don't want to be affecting my speed tune. But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I am sure to be very, very happy for my polls. Comment down below what you guys got from this event as well. And let me know if you guys did well or not.